Hey everyone, I'm Michelle C. Smith. Thank you so much for tuning into these tutorials. Today, I have a funky one for you. This is called Wrist Elbow Strike. Now this works really well in the contact staff arena as an exit from fishtails or just a funky little roll. And it works really well in fight choreography. So if you're looking to expand your weapons vocabulary, this one is gonna be a great one for you. So there's two parts to this video. Make sure you follow along with both. Let's go. In this video, we are going to learn a funky hand-elbow variation that works really well in fight choreography actually, so if you're interested in that, add this one in after you've practiced it. Now the first thing we're going to start with is a hand roll. So there's two parts to this skill, first one being the hand roll, which we already learned. So if you haven't seen my previous hand roll tutorial, just go back and check that one out. Come back when you're ready, we'll be here, alright? So you're going to start just a little right of center of your stick. Your top end is going to be pointing at 9 o'clock. We're going to turn that stick up to 2 o'clock. You're going to open your hand, rewind. It's going to come across the top and underneath. So one more time. 9 o'clock, 2 o'clock, open, catch underneath. That's the first part of this skill. The second part is an inside elbow roll, which I haven't taught you yet. So you're going to put your elbow parallel to the floor, fingertips touching your collarbone, and it's just going to stay here the whole time. You're going to put your stick in your left hand, a little under center, about a grip's length under center, and you're going to bring that stick to the middle of your wrist and your forearm. Okay, so right in between your elbow and your wrist, there's a little middle spot there. That's where we want to hit, and notice that the base of my thumb that's holding my stick it's touching my arm. So I don't want to see any space down here because that's not going to get the roll that you need. So all you're going to do from here is you're going to take the top of your stick, which is way up here, and you're going to push it towards the right. And it's going to roll over top of your elbow in between where your deltoid and your tricep meet. And then you're just going to slide this hand that you released with, that's your left hand, like a pendulum. It's going to come underneath your elbow my thumb and my fingers are going to touch my arm here, it's not down here, and I'm just going to catch that stick on the other side. And that should be fairly fluid with a good little push. It's not going to fly over, it's just going to roll over top. So I go from the middle, in between my elbow and my wrist, towards the right, I catch it between my deltoid and my tricep. Okay, one more time. Push, make sure you're touching, catch on the other side. So my hand went from here to here, that's it, like a pendulum. So those are the two parts of the skill that we want to practice. So make sure you can do one about 10 in a row before you start moving into the second part, all right? All right, here we go. Now we're going to connect our hand roll into our elbow roll in one fluid movement without touching it, and then we'll catch it in our left hand when we're done on the other side. So you're going to start in your hand roll. Nine o'clock, move that stick to two o'clock, you're going to open your hand. Now, here's the tricky part. When it gets to the top of your hand, I want you to flip your fingers from flat like this so that they come up like this. Almost like you're saying stop, but it's just your fingers that are moving. So from here to here, okay? So your fingers are up. The stick is moving this way. As it's falling off, right where you would pretend that you're gonna catch it, you're not gonna catch it. You are going to pull your fingers towards you as the stick drops down, okay? So the stick starts nine o'clock to two o'clock. Open. When it comes on top of my hand, I'm gonna pull my fingers up. I'm gonna let it fall. So it should almost be perpendicular, it should be straight up. And then I'm gonna use my fingers to guide that stick in. At the same time, I'm gonna push my elbow forward, okay? So my hand comes in, stick drops down, my elbow pushes forward and goes into the center. So we don't want this elbow pointing out here, we want it pointing right into the middle. Again, nine o'clock, two o'clock, I open. When it's falling, I lift my fingers. I guide my stick with my fingers in towards my chest. They're coming straight in at the same time my elbow is going forward. So my wrist and my elbow are trying to change spots. From here, the stick is still falling this way. 
And what do you know, your elbow's there for that elbow roll, which you're gonna catch on the other side. One more time slow. Just a little right of center. Nine o'clock, two o'clock. It flips over. As it's falling, I flip my fingers up, pull my fingers straight in. My parallel elbow comes straight to the front. The stick is still falling. It's gonna fall over top my elbow and I'm gonna catch it on the other side. At speed, it looks like that. Wrist, elbow, catch. Now I'll show you from the side. So we have nine o'clock, two o'clock, open. As it's falling down, I'm pulling my fingers in. My elbow's moving forward. Comes over top, catch it on the other side. Wrist, elbow, catch. Now the fancy thing about this is it goes really well into a strike if you were to be doing choreography. Whether you have a sword or a smaller stick, a bow or cali stick, whatever you're using, this will go right into a strike. So I'm gonna go wrist, elbow, catch. Right here is my loaded position. I even have my hand in a check and then I can strike from there. It's a little bit hard to demonstrate with a big long stick, but you can go wrist, elbow, strike. Try that out. It's kind of a fun variation. I haven't seen it in too many fights, so if you added that into your choreography, you'd be looking pretty badass. All right, tell me how it goes. I'd love to hear what you think. See you next time. So that was wrist elbow strike. It's pretty cool once you get it. Now this one has a lot of different pieces involved in it. So it's really important that you drill each element before you combine the puzzle together because mastery is built upon a strong foundation. If you can't do all the little pieces, you're not gonna be able to do the full skill. But I know you can get it, so just spend a little time practicing those first two steps. Thank you again for watching my tutorials. I so appreciate your support. And if you could share this video with as many people as you can, I would be forever grateful. And as always, find me on social media, comment, like, share, do your thing. I would love to hear from you. And I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye.